by the Clumsy Jedi. Today, continuing in the vein of Rankin Bass TV specials, I'm going to be reviewing Frosty the Snowman. It originally aired in the year 1969, was directed by Arthur Rankin and Jules Bass, and it included the vocal talents of Jimmy Durante, Billy DeWolf, Jackie Vernon, Paul Fries, and June Foray. A bunch of school children, after they get out of school, build a snowman in the schoolyard, and they use a hat from a ne'er-do-well magician. They put it on his head, and a he suddenly comes to life. And then as the temperature goes up, they have to figure out how to keep him from melting. What I liked most about Frosty the Snowman was um, it was very playful. It had a very, innoc very innocent quality about it. And the music was extremely, you know, whimsical. Kind of like the, um, I like the main thing. Of Frosty the Snowman. In the, my favorite part of that song is probably the thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Very cute. What I disliked most about it was it was very juvenile. Uh, it seemed to be aimed at mostly five and six year olds to the part to the point where it just gets ridiculous. Especially the uh, magician Professor Hinkle when he goes messy messy messy. Is it? Ugh. It definitely dances the line between cute and annoying. Uh, family friendly, um, this almost goes too far the other way. I would say this would be best suited to very small children, what may, like maybe a first uh, Christmas movie for them. The story, um, it, was, it wasn't that bad. It basically followed the uh, song practically verbatim, so it's a 7.5 out of 10. Voice acting, the voices fit the characters pretty well, and the lip sync seemed pretty good, so I would give the voice acting an 8 out of 10. The script, like I said, very juvenile, but given the audience it was intended for, I can't really come down too hard on it, so I'd give it a 7 out of 10. The humor, definitely more suited to little kids. I didn't really find it all that funny. Kind of maybe a grin or two, but that's about it. So it gets a 7 out of 10. The music, like I said, my favorite part of the special very cute and whimsical and fun, so it gets an 8 out of 10. The animation, um, I'm not a fan of that particular style. It suited it well enough, but, mm, I don't know, I guess I like the more realistic animation. I'm spoiled. So I give it a 7.5 out of 10, giving Frosty the Snowman a Clumsy Jedi final score of 7.5 out of 10. Hold on to your magic hats, guys, because I'm also going to do Frosty Returns. Be back in a flash, and until then, this is the Clumsy Jedi signing off. Bye, guys!